Let's see what's been in the news in the past week. First, I would like to say thank you to my subscribers because you guys encourage me to continue making these videos. You can look at notifications. Oh, it says Cardinals and Blues. Uh, Cardinals beat the Phillies 4-3 and the Blues beat the Wild 5-4. Uh, test your smarts. Which of these states will result... Real which of these states will lose a seat in the House of Representatives due to the 2020 U.S. Census results? Texas, North Carolina, or New York? Uh, New York. No. Texas gained. I'm almost positive Texas gained. So if it's not New York, my second guess is North Carolina. 51% got this right. As far as I know, Missouri didn't do anything. Uh, Illinois lost. Which MLB pitcher threw an unofficial no-hitter in a condensed seven-inning game? Jacob deGrom, Shane Bieber, Madison Bumgarner. Uh, I'll go with A. Don't care. Hang on, wait. The last one, I was right, and that was C, so I'm sticking with C. 45% got this right. Next question. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle will appear at which event? Glastonbury, Fax Live, or Bottle Rock? Um, I don't know what A and C are. I have a guess what B is, but I'm going to stick with C. Oh, dude. Just going on what I could possibly recognize, I was thinking to go with B. Alright, 48% got this right. Which rookie card sold for $5.2 million? LeBron James, Michael Jordan, or Mickey Mantle? Does basketball have cards? Basketball cards? If it does, I could go with A or B, but I'm sticking with baseball. Oh, wow. LeBron James, 38% got this right. Cooking website Epicurious said it will not publish new rep recipes featuring beef, pork, or beets. Uh, I'm gonna guess beef. Just cause. Oh, did I say that wrong? Okay, anyway. 49% got this right. It was beef. The FDA Began the process of banning beef, energy, drinks, or menthol cigarettes. I'm gonna guess cigarettes. 64% got this right. Which movie lost its perfect Rotten Tomato score after a negative review resurfaced? Citizen Kane, Nomad Land, or Black Panther? So, it said resurfaced. So I'm not going to guess B, because that's pretty new, from what I know. I'm going to guess Black Panther. Huh, 51% got this right. See, that's pretty old. That's why I thought there's no way something that old could have a perfect score for some amount of time. Uh, Citizen Kane, 51% got this right. North Carolina 12-year-old Mike Wimmer is about to graduate high school, college, or both. Um, I don't know, I'll guess both. You're that far ahead. Um, anyway, 62% got this right. Who's hosting the 2021 MTV Movie and TV Awards? Vanessa Hudgens, Trevor Noah, or Leslie Jones? Uh, I don't know who A is. So, I will guess B. Leslie Jones, 39% got this right. I was thinking it could easily be her. That was from SNL. Outgoing Disney executive chairman Bob Eager, Eager? Eager said he'd like another shot at being a weatherman teacher or singer. Ah, I'll guess teacher. Weatherman, 39% got this right. 
I wonder why. I wonder why he went from being a weatherman to a executive chairman. Or whatever. Not bad, you got 4 out of 10 right. Okay. Now I can look at this. And that's just the quiz. If I look at this. No, if I look at this. I finally got my. Okay. No. Yeah. And uh, daily poll. What's more your speed, jogging or walking? Walking, running makes my head hurt. My brain gets shaken around. Uh, what is this? Inclusion for all. Yeah, you can support charities on, uh, I already have the Bing desktop wallpaper thing. Okay. The Spirit of Harlem by Louis Del Sarte. Del Sarte. The Spirit of Harlem mural by Louis Del Sarte in Harlem, New York City. Where is this mural we're looking at on International Jazz Day? New Mexico, New York, or New Orleans? New York. 83% got this right. The Spirit of Harlem is a glass mosaic mural by artist Louis Del Sarte, located near the legendary Apollo Theater in New York City's Harlem neighborhood. It features jazz greats Cab Calloway and Count Basie, among others. Who worked with UNESCO to launch International Jazz Day in 2011? Kenny G, John Schofield, Herbie Hancock. But when I guess C. Oh, dude. 66% got this right. Hancock began the project after he was designated a UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador. It was improved in 2011, and the first International Jazz Day was celebrated in 2012. Which popular song is a favorite among students first learning to play jazz music? Autumn Leaves, November Rain, Summer Nights. Um, I want to guess B. Autumn Leaves, 47% got this right. This jazz standard has been covered by countless singers from Billie Holiday and Nat King Cole to Eric Clapton and Iggy Pop. The chord progression is ideal for jazz students who are starting out. Get your score. Oh, not bad. You got two out of three correct. And then, okay, before we start that, I'll do word of the day. Paradigm. A typical example or pattern of something. A model. There is a new paradigm for our public art in this country. The, for the past week, mitigate, clergy, ration, collusion, gad, halicon. Halkion, <gasps> denoting a period of time in the past that was idyllically happy and peaceful. I think that's the name of, of, that's part of the name of a game that I played. Uh... 
Um, and then we do Bing. Uh, quote of the day. I knew there was something. If you have to ask what jazz is, you'll never know. What's the jazziest color? Louis Armstrong, American jazz trumpeter, composer, and band leader. Uh, and then we read the paragraph. The Spirit of Harlem by Louis Delsarte. On International Jazz Day, we're looking at The Spirit of Harlem, a glass mosaic mural by artist Louis Delsarte, located near the legendary Apollo Theater in New York City's Harlem neighborhood. It depicts, among others, jazz greats Cap Calloway and Count Basie. Originally commissioned in 2005, the mural was covered up in 2017 when a new store moved into its location. After a petition and protests, the retailer worked with Del Sarte to, restore, to restore the mural and add a new plaque dedicating it to the Harlem community. Del Sarte, whose other works include a 125-foot-long mural at the Martin Luther King Jr. Natatorium in Atlanta, died in May 2020. April 30th is designated by the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization, UNESCO, as International Jazz Day to highlight the music and its role in cultures around the world. Musician Herbie Hancock, who serves as a UNESCO Goodwill Ambassador for International Dialogue, was instrumental in starting Jazz Day in 2011. It includes educational programs, community events, and performances around the world. This year will feature a mix of virtual and in-person events. And I also want to say, as I put in my description of every video, I am sorry for any mispronunciations. Thank you for watching. See you later.